Hello there, my name is Brandon and I make pictures out of tiny squares. And today we're going to be looking at a fun pixel art gadget called the Didu, made by the manufacturer Davoom. The Didu is a Bluetooth smart speaker and it's unlike most portable speakers that you'll see, with its most notable features being the 16 by 16 pixel screen for displaying art and animations, and a six key mechanical keyboard, which together provide this sort of unique styling reminiscent of a retro PC. There's something really special about the illuminated look of pixel art on this small screen. Kind of as if the glow and the grid give it this more realistic quality than just viewing it crisp and perfect on a computer screen. Needless to say, this accessory has been on my wishlist for a while now, and I want to thank Davoom for sending this one my way to review and share. Because I'm a pixel art channel, I'd like to focus on the creation of 16x16 art for this device, but there are also loads of other functions to it, so I'm going to do a quick overview and then we can get into some art. So let's get going. Alright, out of the box, the Didu comes with a USB Type-C cable for charging, an instruction manual, and a set of pixel art stickers for additional decoration or inspiration. The outer construction is a hard glossy plastic, the entire thing weighs about a pound, and there are small rubber feet on the bottom that keep it in place, and overall it's just a satisfying and sturdy form factor. The hard shell box it comes in can also be saved for safe transport, because after all this is a fairly small and portable device. But I honestly see it living its best life within the home. You know, kind of adding a unique touch to a desktop or a gaming station. See, this is a lot more than just a speaker with a display. Uh, it would have been cool enough if they stopped there and just had the keyboard control the volume and brightness, which they do by the way, but there's more to it than that. The default display functions as a clock with a programmable alarm, and there's a key that scrolls through various built-in display modes, like a solid mood light and different visualizations. Pressing the menu button accesses 9 different games you can play right on the Didu itself. Games like Tetris and Snake, and there's one called Flappy Wings if you can take a guess what that's supposed to be. Downloading and connecting to the Davoom app also opens up an entire world of additional functionality. For example, there's a mixer to create and record beats and the Didu will play sounds and display unique visuals that animate in response to your inputs and chosen instrument. The core feature of the app though is of course the pixel art editor, which allows you to create your own designs and animations to display on the screen. The editor is appropriately streamlined and easy to use. In addition to the default pencil tool, there's a paint bucket fill, selection tools, shapes, and there's even a symmetry option here as well. The color picker allows you to choose from a full spectrum and includes a few preset palettes, or allows you to create and save your own. What I found really useful here is the way that the display updates in real time while editing, and often the color hue and the contrast is slightly different on the display than when viewing it through the app, so it's nice to have that immediate feedback while working on a design. The editor works really well for messing around and creating simple art and animations. The animation timeline allows you to copy the previous frame so you can make changes one frame at a time to build up an animation. For more complex designs, there's actually a more useful function that I'd like to stand up and applaud to Boom for including and that's the ability to import your own files. Importing an exact 16x16 16 16 pixel file will display it perfectly, or you can select a larger image and it'll automatically reduce into that space, with varied success of course. The editor can accept animation files up to 60 frames in length, so it's a lot easier to plan out more ambitious animations in a software that offers layers and advanced timeline customizability, rather than the approach of trying to copy and change one frame at a time within the app. And just as an aside, I think that creating 16x16 16 16 pixel art is actually a really fun exercise for any level of pixel artist, because the restriction in canvas size here means that you have to get really creative with the way that you use each pixel to contribute to a design. So here's a bunch of 16x16 16 16 designs that I've been working on this week to explore what was possible within this resolution, 
and also just to build up my own library for the Didu. By the way, thank you to everyone who provided design suggestions on my community post from last week. I tried to make a bunch of your ideas, so hopefully you can spot one you've inspired here. There's a few things I like to keep in mind when making 16x16 art. Uh, because it's an even numbered dimension, for a design to be perfectly centered, it should be built around the two middle pixels of the canvas. So for something like a portrait, I would start with a circle size, maybe around 12 pixels or so, and kind of place the details from there. Other styles for portraits would be to go with a three-quarter or a profile view instead, and sometimes you can get better detail from that perspective. Another common approach, and you often see this with RPG style icons, is to build them on a diagonal. Uh, it's kind of a nice way to create a design that utilizes the full canvas and also allows you to have it come to a sharp point, like if you're making weapons or arrows or anything like that. If you're looking to get more detail or style out of a small area like this, one approach is to gradually introduce more shade and highlight colors to kind of build up the design. With the limited resolution, each pixel really carries a lot of weight in the design, so it can help to use stronger contrast and a strong change in hue to ensure that highlights and shading are super noticeable. So once you finish creating or importing the design, you can save it privately on your profile within the app, or you can choose to upload it into the community cloud, where other users can display it on their own devices. There's already a pretty amazing library of designs going created by users all over the world, so even if you're just interested in searching and displaying existing artwork, there's a lot to choose from within the community gallery. There's also the ability to favorite and comment on community designs, and getting favorites on your post earns you points within the Daboom app, and so if you save enough points, you can actually redeem them for Daboom products and discounts. So there is a bit of incentive there to create and engage with the community. The Devoom Didu retails for about $80 US, or around 120 Canadian. If you're looking for alternatives, they also offer smaller picture frame style displays, as well as larger screens, speakers, and I even think I saw a pixel art backpack there at one point. I put links to their Amazon shop in the video description if you feel like checking them out. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this thing, and I suspect we'll see it pop up again in future videos when making any small scale art. I really appreciate these kind of unique products that have this sort of like niche retro appeal. So thank you again to Devoom and thank you for watching and take care and keep it square.